guys, that took a lot of work. But uh, I'm at the point where now I'm just trimming off the excess. Uh, I've already kind of got the uh, vinyl on there. What's up guys? Here it goes. So the next day, it's a little bit of an update. I ended up finishing up the hood uh, right now. And uh, I don't really film this one because I just kind of got into the work and started working away at it. Right now I'm just returning the vents back into place. As you can see here, this is how it looks underneath, but still got to relieve some of the air um, and right here. So it kind of just cuts some holes, pre-cut the holes for it so it should slide right in. Just like so. Um, and now I just gotta put the bolts on underneath. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna leave these blocked because they look really good. What's up guys, how's it going? Thank you for tuning in to another video tonight. Well, today I finished up the wrap on the Mustang. I was way too excited to wait till tomorrow morning to show it to you guys. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and do a reveal tonight. I don't care. I'm gonna show you guys the car because I'm way too pumped about getting it done. I just had to take it out and drive it. And man, I was just looking at it now and this wrap is just everything that I imagined and more. Um, ever since I got the car, I had the plans of wrapping it and this is a color that I had in mind. I just thought it showed the curves of the Mustang so freaking well, and it just highlights all those sexy body lines that are on the pony. So anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead, jump into the freaking wrap on my 2019 Mustang GT. This took forever, but it was totally worth it. Here we go. One, two, and three. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Fit up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Mm. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, it's quite shady, my bros rock. No break, sweet, go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, guys, so as you can see, the wrap is set in dark gray. This is a 3M wrap. Um, I absolutely love this color. The reason, because the satin just looks really good. The dark gray really kind of gives it a nice look with the black. It accents the black extremely well. I have the red interior, so the red brake calipers kind of pop out with this wrap as well. So it's just really good looking to me. I know AMG and BMW have this type of uh, paint uh, on some of their higher end cars, but you don't really see this too often um, on a normal car. There's no other manufacturers that make it. So it's usually a wrap that people put on, but I just think it suits the Mustang so freaking well. And I don't know, I'm in love with it. The more I look at it, 
the more that it just, I cannot get my eyes off of this thing. And the fact that I was able to do it myself, you know, it was hard, it was not easy, especially after the accident and everything. It did take a lot of work, but you know, it was totally worth it. The end result just looks so killer, so mean, and uh, just kind of tied in the whole car so, so very well. So I'm walking around right now, kind of give you different angles, but you can see the satin just really kind of throws every line, kind of just magnifies the hips of the car, the smooth lines on the doors, the hood, check that out. It just looks so nice. And the way it reflects light, just, I don't know. The, the wrap also has a very dark, or sorry, a lot of, uh, um, in the sun, which I will show you guys tomorrow as well. It has a lot of uh, flakes in it. It kind of looks like paint, so it's not a very, uh, you know, stale color. There's definitely some pop to it, especially when the sun is out. But the car looks absolutely stunning, and I'm so excited for you guys to see it in the videos like this. Um, it just, you know, hard work pays off. This took a little over two weeks because of everything that kind of happened with the motorcycle accident and me kind of taking time off here and there. But, you know, I got it done, one man job, and I cannot believe I tackled the whole car myself. Um, you know, it was definitely a lot of work and not easy at all, to say the least. And the reason is there's just a lot of disassembly when you're all wrapping, like taking the door handles off, the mirrors, uh, debadging the car, uh, pulling off the bumpers and wrapping those. So the wrap isn't gonna be 100% perfect since it is my first time ever wrapping, but I think I did a killer job for my first time. I did some inlays on the front, I did an inlay on the back. I kind of followed CK Wraps' tutorials and tried to uh, educate myself on how to properly wrap and get the best result. So first ever wrap, we'll talk about uh, the details more, but right now I want to show you a few time lapses of me kind of just, you know, working on different panels of the car. This was a hell of a, a hell of a project to take on, and uh, yeah, man, I'm just glad it's over now. I can show you guys the final result. It's been really hard trying to keep this a secret, and not being able to drive this car has really sucked. But I haven't really washed it just yet, so I still do have to wash it and make it look all clean and like put some tire shine and all that good stuff. But we'll do that tomorrow. Just tonight, I really just wanted to show you uh, the first looks of the wrap and how it's looking. And uh, yeah, man, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath, this was a lot of work. And uh, it's very satisfying just looking at it now, the, the finished product. I don't know, man, I couldn't have imagined it coming out this nice. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys like it. I know there's some people that are like camo and like crazier stuff. That's not me though. I'm more of a settle guy. Um, I don't like to be too flashy. I like, you know, very sharp looks. And this to me just is, suits me a lot better than anything camo. And I would never like the camo on the Mustangs for the sole reason that I believe it hides a lot of the lines on the car. And with such a beautiful car that has so many beautiful lines on it, like you can see all those beautiful kind of lines that have been, you know, designed into it. I don't want to hide those. I want to magnify them. I want to show them off. And that's really why I decided to go with something like a satin. So anyways, hope you guys like this video. Sorry I'm out of breath. It's been a heck of a day. I woke up this morning and I've just been working on the car, finishing up the front bumper. I had to take the whole thing off. and. This is the hardest piece of the whole car and it was the last piece that I had. The film ripped on me so I had to do kind of some stretching on it and stuff like that, which drove me crazy. But overall, I ended up getting it done um, and it came out pretty good. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like. Thank you so much for all the support that we've been getting on the videos lately. You guys have been digging the, the racing videos and I want to give you more of those. I cannot wait to get this thing out for some 1320 action in Mexico. So uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you are notified. And please drop a like on this video to help support the channel. My name is Rush. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.